hello guys in this video we are going to learn how we can encode and decode json data using go language and how we can read the data from the file how we can write the data into the file so all these things we are going to learn so how we can do just start first of all just i have a package main then i declare my structure i say type student struct and i have a name as a string and i have the course as a string and for the json i just add the tag for small case here i can take the capital also like this save it now i create function main in this function i just declare my database to make a json record so here i say i need a slice of a student and here i will store the information of student like i say ravi kumar and doing btech like this and i say again just i copy and paste two or three time i say here rahul kumar i say here sanjeev and all are doing btech we can say doing mtech it's a just a json format to record now i have a database in a json format that i want to store in a table <coughs> now what i have to do i have to create a buffer to store a data in a memory so i say buff and i say new and byte type dot buffer like this i save it now buffer is created i have to use json package to encode so new encoder here i have to write the buffer because in this buffer i want to save the information and i want to encode the db db is my data so this data i want to encode into json format and then the json format data i want to store in the memory in a buffer from this buffer i will write the data into the file so i'm creating a file for creating a file we are using os dot open or we say create function because we are creating a file first time and then we say in the current directory uh, we should have uh, the file i can say student db dot json like this and if there is the error if not equal to nil means there is a error then we say panic error like this and i have to create a variable and i say defer f dot close because we have to close this file also at the end now with the help of this uh, io package i have to write the data into the file so i have a io package and function there is a copy with the help of this i am just writing a data from the buffer to the file so like this we have 
completed the code to insert the data into the file. Now if I try to compile his, I say go run json create dot go and I press this. So you see the file has been created and in this file we have the data in json format. Remember this? So we have a data because it's an array so we having a data in array format. Like this it's a very simple code. We have a data structure any type whichever whatever the record you want to convert into json format so i want to convert this one into json format then we take the buffer to store the information in a buffer and we just encode the information into the buffer by using the structure we have encoded the information converted the in json format into the buffer and from the buffer just we write into the file now second one is to read the file read the record json record which we have created from the file for that i am creating a one more file here i say json read dot go so here i am again creating a package main and i have to declare same constructor sorry same structure not a constructor same structure here i have to create a same structure so i just copy this structure and I declare it same because this data should be stored in the same structure now I have a function I have the main function here now again I created a DB but I create the DB from the empty student like this so I create the DB again but this time it's empty because we want to store the information from the file so here I just open a file again so we have a OS dot open and I just give the file name student.db.json student.db.json the same file name and I say if error not equal to nil then we say panic like this if the file is open then we took the json dot new decode like this and we decode what we have to decode into the file and we have to decode the db you see this db and we have the address so we are taking a file data from this and saving here and we are just using a differ to close the connection like this and if i compile this file also and now, and now uh, this is uh, the file and we are storing information in db one more thing is remaining that we have to print the information uh, print l ln the information from the db because we have the information in db in a structure so we are going to display the same information so we compile it now save it compile here go run and we have a file json read sorry this is json create and we want to read a json read and go you see the information is coming here so i have to remove i think this one and i save it once again i run it and you have the information from the file so we are reading information from this file and we are storing the information in the structure of the same student and so for that we are decoding this information into this structure and we are printing the structure that means these information we have stored in a file one more thing we can test it that we have a three records right now so i had one more record here and i just put here the information is doing phd like this I save it 
and first of all i just create a create to create a file so if you have a student db you see we have the one more record phd and if i read the information from the same file you see we have the information of phd also so data is coming from the same file so like this we can read the information we can decode the information from the file into json format or in the previous example you see that we have created a structure store the information and we encode the information into json format and we save into the file so that's all in this video if you really like this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my video